So as I've mentioned to you all before, uh, this lunar year is the year of the ox. And on a lunar year calendar, there's actually 12 different animals. And um, I usually try my best to, for each year, to make the animals into buns. And if you guys saw a couple years ago, I did one uh, of the year of the pig. I did it with my niece as well. Uh, this year, year of the ox, I am an ox. So I knew I had to do it proud. I have been scouring the internet for just like cool ways of doing ox buns. I knew I wanted um, the ox to have like a head and then also a little bit of the body as well in all in bun form. So I happened to find a channel called Grand Patisserie that actually did that and used like a sausage for the body. So um, I'm going to just, you know, be veganizing the recipe, but the technique is really theirs. So make sure to go and check uh, that channel out. And then, um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy these buns. So I'm starting off with 300 grams of an all-purpose white flour. I'm going to put all of the uh, recipes and ingredients down below. Uh, usually I don't go with bleached white flour, but because this one's a little bit more of like a decorative uh, piece, I opted for that. Um, it also happens to be a bit fluffier as well. So uh, there was some sugar in there, some yeast, some water, and then a little bit of um, oil. and just like any other doughs I do, um, it's, it's environment dependent. So depending on how wet uh, your atmosphere is, is going to determine how much water. So get it to this flaky stage first, and then just try to bring the dough together. I will say it is a stiffer type of dough. If you happen to need maybe a little bit more water, just add in a little bit of that and just bring it together. And you should be kneading for right around seven uh, to eight minutes until you get a fairly smooth ball of dough. So this dough doesn't need any resting, we'll rest it all at the end, but at this point you are going to want to divide up your dough and then color it to the appropriate colors of the ox. So this is some natural food coloring that I have, but um, for you guys feel free to just use food coloring, it might be you know easier to find, easier to get the color that way.
Now, a little tip here is that I would not wrap this rope too tightly because once it steams, it's going to expand. So give it a little bit of room. Now, before I forget, what I'm going to recommend is that you make all of these small pieces like nose, ear, um, little like cow spots all ahead of time before you make the body or the head because what happens is you're essentially, the, the dough is alive so you're letting it prove it's already rising and sometimes if it takes too long to make the little bits and pieces the dough gets overproofed and once you steam it it becomes wrinkly because now there's all of this other bubble going on inside the dough so make all of the little bits and pieces uh, ahead of time So this is the important bit in making the head is you do want to give each of these pieces a good kneading. Again, because the dough is alive, there's bubbles going on inside. You want to knock all of that out. Otherwise, you're going to have very wrinkly uh, cow heads. And uh, in terms of shape, you want to keep it ovally. You kind of want to keep it fat. Uh, this is the part where it all gets tricky because faces, you know, it can look start looking from like cute to evil very quickly so you you have to be careful uh here So with the snout and really all parts of the face, you really have to look at how big the head is because everything needs to be in proportion. Um, I'll say to keep it cute, you want the snout actually to be fairly big. And all of these things I'm gluing down with just a little bit of water.
you all are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe there's more. Uh, so the eyes, I actually just rolled uh, little bits of the black dough uh, in, and this is actually the final step is the yellow. I'm just gonna, you know, pinch and form little triangles, and those will be the horns. And you actually have a lot of yellow because Grand Patisserie ended up um, making uh, gold ingots with it, and I could not be bothered. This was just so much work. Um, but this you can bring straight to the steamer and make sure that the steamer is with cold water first. Bring it up to a boil and then steam it for 10 minutes. And when you shut it off, leave it for about five minutes first before you lift the lid. This all kind of keeps everything nice and gentle so that the buns don't rise and fall and then you'll end up getting, you know, wrinkly, uh, wrinkly buns again. So now time for assembly. You have your kind of your sausage roll uh, on the bottom and we're just gonna connect it with like little toothpicks or you can do it with popsicle sticks. I think hands down these are cuter than the piggy buns and the piggy buns are pretty darn cute. So um, yeah, the side view is so cute as well, like the little twirly tail and those are some gold ingots I made on the side. Um, but yeah, you, I pretty much make this like once every 12 years so I thought okay I'm gonna put in some time but it's absolutely cute. I hope you guys all um, enjoyed the recipe.